Good morning to each and every one of you. Welcome to another Friday and a Java time with John. Um, hope you've had a good week. I, I think it's been a, a really just a great week as I've been around the Canyon store some and in Pueblo um, and around the production center. There's just there's been a good buzz, a good vibe. Um, our sales have been good already this month, and and I'm kind of excited to to where we're going to go um, this month. So. Thank you for what what you're doing, for the hard work that's going in each and every day. Um, I asked Kevin Mast to join me this morning, um, and he is going to give an update on um, some vacation things uh, for Paycom. So I will turn it over to Kevin. I'll let him share what's on his mind, and then I will have uh, a couple announcements at the end. So uh, here's Kevin. All right. Well, thank you, John. I do have a few things that I wanted to share with you guys this morning. We shared some of this at the office a few weeks ago and just wanted to share the same thing with you guys. I want to talk about paid vacation, sick time, um, unpaid time off, and just a few of those things that you guys have been using on the on the ESS, on your employee self-service, on the Paycom app. Um, but there's some we changed some settings. There's some things that are a little different. So we want to let you guys know what's going on. So the first one that I want to talk about is sick time. Um, so by Colorado law, you earn an hour of sick time for every 30 hours that you work, um, up to a total of 48 hours in a year. So hopefully that makes sense. There's some mental gymnastics that can go with some of this, but, but so you can earn up to 48 hours of sick time in a year. Um, you can redeem it if you're sick, um, if you have doctor visits and some things like that. Um, once you've redeemed 48 hours in a calendar year, You've used it. You don't have sick time to, that you can claim anymore. Um, and so, so there's some limits to it. It's there for you to use. Use it, but you'll, you just know that you have six days to use in a year or 48 hours, and that's all that you can claim. You can claim it in increments of, of 15 minutes, really, if you want to. Um, if you're working till lunchtime and have to run to the doctor for two hours and then just claim two hours of sick time. Um, once it's gone, it's gone. Some of you, if you look at your totals, you'll see that you've taken 48 hours, but it shows that you have 30 hours available or, or however many hours available. Those 30 hours will roll over into next year. So January 1st, the hours that you have available will actually be available for you. But if you've taken 48 hours this calendar year, you can't claim any more. You can't redeem any more sick hours. Does that make sense? Um, so, again, just kind of the parameters are 48 hours. That's all you can use in a calendar year. The reason you keep accruing them is so that you have some available next year. Um, if it wouldn't continue to accrue, you would get to January 1st and you would have zero hours. So, um, what, what you have available after you've claimed your 48 is really just for next year. Next thing I want to talk about is unpaid time off. Um, you earn 1.85 hours of unpaid time off every week. And that's just kind of how it works. That's how many you have available. Um, that's a total of 96 hours in a year or 12 working days that you can claim if you need to. If you don't have paid vacation um, available to you, um, if you don't have sick time or if you're not sick but you need some extra time off, you can claim those days um, if you have them available. Um, all that Paycom will let you redeem is those 96 hours. If you've used is those 96 hours or however much you've accrued. Does that make sense? Um, so if you're, if you're out of unpaid time off, talk to your manager um, about having some extra time off. That is, I think, quite generous, 12 days in a, in a working year on top of your paid vacation and all those things that, that you get. Um, but if you go past, if you don't have unpaid time off available, you can't claim it, um, go talk to your manager and see what you can arrange. Maybe he'll have you work a little extra beforehand or something like that. But all that Paycom will let you redeem is 96 hours a year or however much you've accrued, whichever's, yeah. And then the last thing I want to talk about is unpaid, sorry, is paid time off for full-time employees. The only people at New Horizons that have paid time off or vacation time or whatever you want to call it are, is full-time employees. Full-time employees um, work an average of 30 hours or more. Um, and so to be classified as full-time, you have to work at least 30 hours a week over an extended period of time. Um, the first two years that you are a full-time employee, you get six, vac six vacation days or 48 hours again. Um, I kind of use these days or hours interchangeably, but um, six vacation days or 48 hours. The, the, from the second to the third year that you work for us, you get seven days or 56 hours. 
The third year, the fourth year is eight days. The fifth year is nine days and the sixth year is 10 days. I think I said that all right. Um, up to a maximum of 10 days of paid time off. Let me pull that up here just to make sure I'm right. The, yes, that's right. So the most that you can get is up to 80 hours for full-time hourly employees. Um, and that accrues every paycheck. Um, if you get 48 hours a year, if that's the tier that you're in, um, you'll see it on every paycheck. You'll be getting two hours of paid time off and another two hours and another two hours and another two hours. Um, the paid time off starts accruing after you've been a full-time employee for 90 days. Does that make sense? So not just as soon as you go to being a full-time employee does it start accruing. It's after you've been a full-time employee for 90 days. Um, also, any paid time off that you haven't redeemed at the end of the calendar year will roll over into next year. So if you have, if you get six days, you have three days left over. January 1st, you'll still have those three days available to you on top of the six days that you will earn next year. Um, the most paid time off that you can take off in a calendar year is 150% of your annual amount. So if you earn six days in a year, you can take nine days if you still have three left over from the prior year. Are you, are you tracking? So um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, there's just some of these, some of these tiers, some of these uh, parameters that we have around this stuff. I wanted to try to communicate with you. Um, again, if you have questions, ask your managers. They're pretty well versed in this stuff. Um, but hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this helps you understand what's going on. And if you look at your your accrual or your your the amounts that you have on Paycom, um, it'll make a little more sense than it used to. Okay. Have a great Friday. All right. So thank you, Kevin, for the update and. The little education um, that you give us this morning. Thanks for what you're doing to uh, keep all the the loose ends straightened out in in HR. Um, and if if you guys have questions on anything related to Paycom, um, don't hesitate to reach out to Kevin by Teams um, and ask Kevin um, if you're stuck because I'm sure he's more than willing to to help you out. Um. Actually, I think it's just one announcement I have this morning. Um, you've probably seen the sign-up sheets already, and hopefully the managers have have announced it to you. But on uh, the 29th of this month, that's two Saturdays from tomorrow, um, we're planning to have our annual fall party in Canyon City at uh, Oasis Park Community Center. Um, we're planning to start serving supper around 6.30 p.m. And I'm looking forward to having... Uh, barbecue pork, um, sandwiches, uh, pulled pork nachos, that type of thing. Um, some good barbecue. And um, hoping to have some campfires and probably some cornhole. And uh, last year we had rented a light tower and set it up by the wiffle ball field and hoping to do that again this year. So we'd love to see as many of you um, there as we can as we just celebrate another good summer and um, just yeah, spend a relaxing evening together. So that is the 29th of this month at 6.30 p.m. And um, we can get you the address and things like that from your manager. I should have that information for you. Uh, one more thing I just wanted to shout out um, and just recognize the household uh, team in, in the production center. Uh, they've just been absolutely crushing it this week. Um, we've had a big pile of unsorted donations that have been sitting around and sitting around and the last number of weeks it's felt like that pile hasn't been able to get smaller it's just grown bigger and bigger and this week um, they've they've been killing it and the pile of unsorted is going down and the pile of empty bins uh, has been growing so um, household team thank you for what you're doing you guys are doing a great job I've um, been absolutely crushing it. Wanted to, uh, Sierra, I want to recognize your leadership there. Thank you for what you're doing. And um, yeah, keep up the great work. Um, as, as household team and production goes, uh, so goes the sales um, for household stuff in the stores. So thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, yeah, keep up the great work. And hope you can have an enjoyable weekend. Uh, relax. Put your feet up, spend some time doing some things that you love, um, and we'll see you next week.